I would turn the TV on to Jimmy Neutron. A mama say you can't say the world want only coupons. I used to order salad, I won't only eat the croutons. I once had dreams of driving coupes without the roof on. I still have dreams of things I've seen on Nickelodeon. I only go to places I dream. I only dream of the faces of all the people I've seen. And if you want to know why, I see the space in between. A different world can get harder since so I'm playing Kadeem. I only want to make classes and so I'm writing my cream. You know it's love to the cul-de-sac, you know that's sort of team. And it's RS Dub and PS118 and it's HCK, if you know what I mean. Cause I don't care about numbers and I don't care about streams. I just care about the people and taking care of a need. Cause if you've been in my city, you've probably seen what I've seen. And if you're here for the ride, then that means everything. Uh. live in at WDET with Detroit artist Stoop Lee and the cul-de-sac. Great. That was great, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we got a full studio here. We got uh, at least, uh, nine people-ish, about nine people. Who do you want to introduce the band for us? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have singing background vocals, Chelsea Cornego, incredible singer. Um, we have Michael Toko on the guitar. We have Caleb Sykes, a.k.a. Barry Black, on the keys. We have <laughs> Zach McKinney on the drums. Um, we have Sam Corey on the bass. We have Aaron Meyer on the guitar as well. We have Dale Gold all the way from Ohio, uh, featured artist. And we have Curtis Roach as well. And I'm Stu Lee. But yeah, it's the yeah. band. Okay, so, you know, we got to talk to you uh, a couple years ago when you had another uh, an event going on. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the big things that come out in the interview is, is this love for... 90s nostalgia that you have. Obviously, mm -hmm. the band's name is The Cul-de-Sac. Yes. I think you referenced um, uh, some Nickelodeon shows there. Mm -hmm. In your bio, you talk about being influenced by Saturday morning cartoons and your favorite brand of cereal. So I kind of want to revisit that again because um, it's obviously not something that, uh, it's something that you are still really embracing. So mm -hmm. kind of talk about w that influence, that nostalgia, and how you work it into your sound. Um, I feel like it's just a, you know, that looking back in that time, you know, of those cartoons and serials, just a very like warm and like uh, simpler time for me. And I feel like when I when I write music, um, I like to be as, as creative as possible. And I feel like when I was at my most creative was like at a childlike state. So I feel like all those things kind of take me back um, to when I was a kid. And I just feel like I'm just more imaginative in that state. And, I, and that's stuff I still enjoy to this day. So I feel like it just is a um, a very organic thing that just kind of has made its way into into my music and things that I talk about, you know. Yeah, you're right about that. I just read a Harvard study that was saying that uh, when they 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 tested five year olds for mm -hmm. being at a genius level, which mm -hmm. is to do with their creativity, mm -hmm. 
100% of five-year-olds that they studied were actually geniuses, and that mm. drops off as you get older. Interesting. So I think that's kind of cool that you're bringing that that into into your work, you know? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. That's, that's wild. I had no idea. Yeah. 100% of the thing. That's yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, you know, something I also wanted to ask you is, you know, you're, you're, you're obviously working here in the city of Detroit, such a rich heritage of mm -hmm. hip-hop music so many artists you named jay dilla as one of your influences yes huge how do you you know what do you feel like sets your music apart and and brings a fresh sound to detroit hip-hop mm, well i think um at least at least you know like speaking for myself but um yeah i feel like that's kind of i'm fruit off of that tree off of the dilla tree um and i think that tree was ultimately started by motown and motown is such like a rich and diverse sound um, but there was still just like this soul in common b between all these artists. You know, if you listen to like Jackson 5 or Stevie Wonder or Aretha Franklin, um, they're all very extremely different artists, but there's still a soul that all of them have. Um, and I feel like that's just kind of something I, you know, still maintaining that soul, but just doing it in the way that I would do it. Um, being influenced by all of those things that have come before me, you know. Yeah, I, I love that you mentioned Motown, not just because that's, you know, Detroit, mm -hmm. but because... Uh, Motown had this, they were bringing in all sorts of people everywhere. It was really not just a factory, but it had a community to it. And mm -hmm. that's something that I know you're passionate about in your approach as an artist here in the city mm -hmm. is, is building a sense of community. Yes. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Why is that important for you? Um, I just think, you know, as simply, you know, simply put, we're just better and stronger together than we are, like, separately. Um, and I just feel like, you know... Um, the roots of all that kind of stuff really runs deep in Detroit. And I feel like bringing it together is just the best way to, you know, bring the city back to where it used to be. And, uh, you know, just like, I feel like people forget that Detroit is such like a rich musical history. And then the only way we're going to remind them is if we do it together and not, you know, separately, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I love yeah. that. We're in studio right now at WDET with Detroit artist Stoop Lee and the cul-de-sac. Uh, he has a brand new EP out called the blue version EP. Guessing that's Pokemon it is. reference, of course. <laughs> You just you're on it. You know you know all the references. <laughs> I want to hear another song. What do you guys got for us? Um, let's do a uh, suit player two. Huh, never play a one, always play a two. I'm a shoot, for I look the past. I'm a play the two, Paul Boo. I don't know if I say, all I know is you. How you do? Heard you different now. Nah. Tell me, is it true? I said nah, tell me, is it true? Uh, I said I do, I do, I do Even when I'm in the mood And I tell you come through She sweet like orange soda And the feeling that I get I think it feel like deja vu But when I come to Right back to that Tuesday afternoon I ain't have a lot to do But I was with you I think it was June And it would just be Just be you and me My couch and cartoon Cause growing up Never play a one Always play a two I'ma shoot for I look the past I'ma play the two Parlez vous I don't know if I'm saying All I know is you How you do Heard you different now Tell me is it true uh, I said I tell me is it true Yeah I said I do I do I do Yeah Yeah uh, yeah, yeah, all right now I said I shot my shot like 2K I'm looking at the replay and I'm drowning on my old ways Why'd I choose the Mavericks? No, it's just a habit that you always place in first I brought that system over, but I'm claiming it don't work You know I'm blowing out the dirt I keep myself alert And I hope you know that game costs more than it's worth But even though I'm tripping again I said that you know you the reason there's a boss in the end Because Cause growing up, never play a one, always play a two I'ma shoot for I look the past, I'ma play the two Parlez vous, I don't know say. all I know is you How you do, heard you different now, tell me is it true, uh I said I tell me is it, yeah I said I tell me is it, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah I said that me and nobody, I said that I want Can't stop me, I'm sorry I said that me and nobody I said that I wanna lose to It won't be anybody I can't go on, uh, uh Say growing up, never play a one Always play a two I'm a shoot for I look the past I'm a play the two, all they move I don't know if I say All I know is you, how you do Heard you different now nah. I heard you different growing up Never play a one Play it too. I'm a shoot for I look the past. I'ma play that too. Fall they boo. I don't know if I say all I know is you. How you do? Heard you different now. Nah. Say heard you different, uh. Never 
play in one, always play a two. I'ma shoot for I look the pass. I'ma play the two, parlay fool. I don't know Francais. All I know is you. How you do? Heard you different now. Tell me, is it? Uh. In studio right now with Detroit hip hop artist Stoop Lee and the Cul de Sac. That was a great song. What was the title of that one again? Uh, it's called Player Two. Player Two from Player the two. from the uh, brand new EP, the Blue Version tape. Um, I want to go back to talking about your sound and all the different elements in it because, as we mentioned before, you mentioned Motown, mm -hmm. mentioned Jay Dilla. Yes. But in this particular, um, I, I, you know, version of yourself as an artist with the band here, there's so much jazz mm -hmm. and so much smooth jazz. I'm hearing mm -hmm. in there. Yes. Was that something uh, a genre you've you know, always enjoyed, or is that something that's kind of like come into your life as you've grown, you know, into more of an adult? Yeah, no, it's definitely been a part of my life um, all throughout as well. Like, there was this radio station that I loved growing up called Smooth Jazz V98.7. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> literally, growing up, like, it was on like 24 7, 365, all times of the night. We would just like leave the radio on. Like, anytime we leave the house, radio's on, we're back, radio's on, we're asleep, radio's on, like, all the time. Um, so I would always hear, like, you know, Sade, Luther Vandross. Um, just like a bunch of those older artists, <laughs> you know what I mean? So Smooth Jazz is definitely something that's uh, been ingrained into just like my DNA, you know? Smooth Jazz kind of a bad rap from like the 90s at least. I remember at my high school, they'd leave that station on all the time. Yeah. But like there's, obviously you would mentioned Sade. I yeah. mean, there's some great stuff going on in the yeah, genre. Amazing stuff in there. I mean, maybe I didn't appreciate it at the time, but like growing up, it's like, dang, this stuff was kind of fire. It was yeah. kind of dope, you know? Uh, you know, I wanted to ask you about something before you guys started performing, before mm -hmm. the mics came on, you did a prayer. To, yeah. and, and I and I really, lo I really love that. And I just wanted to, you know, ask you about how your faith or your spirituality is mm -hmm. influencing not just your sound, but your approach to music as an artist mm. or the music industry even. Mm, that's a great question. Um, I mean, I just think that personally, I don't think I'm in control. Um, just the idea of that, like, I could accomplish anything that's bigger than myself, I think is something that's outside of me. Um, and something I need God to kind of guide me through and help me to do. Um, so I just feel like every time I'm in a platform like this, whether it's performing or recording, um, just making sure God is a part of it, um, first and foremost, is I think is just such a big, big thing for me because um, I don't think <laughs> it's not going to work out without him being involved. Yeah. So, yeah, that's just the that's, that's so simple as that. I just needs to be involved, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like it makes your performances better? Um, I like to think so. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're again, we're in studio with Detroit hip hop artist Stoop Lee and the cul de sac. Uh, yeah, they have a brand new tape out, um, a brand new EP called The Blue Version. Blue Version Tape, right? Blue Version Tape. Blue yeah, Version right. Tape. Yeah. And you have a show coming up in a bit. It's in a few <laughs> months. So uh, yeah. uh, if folks want you to take your, your phone out right now, go to your calendar and put this date in your calendar to go see Stoop Lee. You'll be performing in March, right? March 22nd at the Magic Stick. Um, yeah, a headlining show. Uh, Curtis will actually be on that lineup as well. Um, but it's going to be great. It's going to be an amazing show. Um, and by that time, I'll have the next EP. It'll be like the release show for the next project. So stay tuned. More stuff coming on the way. And it's going to be a fantastic show. It's going to be great. Excellent. You've yeah. been really prolific these past few years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Where, where are you? Like, what's your writing process like now? What's your mm -hmm. creative process like? Are you working on something every single day? Um, no, definitely not every single day. But like... I just feel like I maximize the time that I am working on stuff where like I try to, you know, every time like I have a session, it's like I need to come out of the session with something, you know, being that I have a nine to five job, nine to five job in addition to music. Um, it's not my full time thing. So it's like anytime I get a chance to work on stuff, I have to be as productive as possible. Um, so, yeah. And anytime I'm like recording, so anytime they might, you know, we're in a studio session and we're recording something, the idea is for me to use what we're about to make. I'm not just making stuff just to like have it just be in the vault. So that's kind of like my approach to making things and um, just making the most of my time. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. yeah. You know, I feel like uh, on the on the broader scale, when we're we're talking about music, interviewing artists on, on the big global scale, we're not mm -hmm. we're not talking about being a working working class artist anymore. We're not talking mm -hmm. about having the nine to five and then doing the thing. But that is a reality for the majority of artists working, mm -hmm. you know, in, in the United States right now. Yeah. Can you talk about that balance? Like, how do you, how do you pay the rent? And how do you, like, try to make your dreams come true? Um, well, I mean, I think um, I have a job that's super supportive in terms of me being able to do music outside of um, my nine to five there. They're super supportive about it. And it's just like, you know, I did go to college. I got a degree. I'd like to, <laughs> you know, use my degree to, I guess, feed myself. That was kind of the, the plan, you know, from the very beginning. Like, get a degree, get a job with that degree, and then, you know, in your spare time, you know, do your music. 
Um, I feel like I don't really have much spare time. It's kind of just like split half and half, like 50% of my life force goes to my job. And then actually it's probably like, it's probably much more skewed than that. Um, but my job will never know. It's <laughs> <laughs> Do they listen to the station? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but yeah, just like kind of, you know, finding, finding my pockets here and there and just like, you know, putting my effort to my job so I can make money to support doing all of this stuff outside of it. You know, just simple as that. But, yeah. Well, yeah. on that note, what 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 is the dream? Because mm-hmm. you know, I you know, going back to uh, you know your your faith and your spirituality, mm-hmm. I bet you do some manifestation work. Do you do some visualizing work of like what, what you want to come next? So, what's the dream? The dream is definitely to be able to do music full time. Um, that's definitely the dream. That's like the ultimate goal. Um, beyond that, obviously, like being a household name winning a Grammy, things of all, all those things are definitely stuff that I, I'm working towards. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, yeah I believe in hard work and prayer. It, it kind of, I think that will, that'll, that'll do you right. At least me personally, in my personal experience. You yeah. Know? Well, I hope I get to brag that I got to talk to you in studio when <laughs> you're winning that Grammy. You have I to come so back too. then and perform for us. For sure. Absolutely. Let's yeah. get into another song. Um, let's do uh, Suhufti. Suhufti do. This one is featuring Curtis Roach, by the way. Probably throw the peace sign up. I said I got an apartment, don't like it, but I think I probably resign. Uh, I said the days go by like the summertime, think I'm about to rewind. Mm-hmm. Front seats probably where you find me when I'm alone. No one, I, I put a record on to free me from all this. I, uh, and everything that I'm just a part of. Hey, I want a record. With this same year that blind drop My mom got me that Honda Civic And best believe I was whipping that shit just like a beamer I'ma play my Wolf CD I'm over Beamer Or that cherry bomb and think it's a two-seater Young dreamer, I'm on the road now I was just glad I had a ride to my shows now Maybe occasionally I kick it with these doughs But I'm in the studio throwing bows down uh, Heartbreaking in the hide I'm heading to the east trying to pick up little mama Youngin' on the road, couldn't nobody stop him I had to do the Mac Daddy slide on a proper I thought I was fly in my blue zip A summertime night ride in my new whip When track 7 had a staring up the lights blur I'm in my feelings sharing tears with my new chick Damn, uh, hey, hey, hey But I was thankful for my new whip Damn, uh, hey, hey Just thinking back on my blue zip And on and on and on It goes on and on and on The road just like my canvas I just wanna play my song yeah. I'm in the I wanna take my stroll down I'm on cruise control now Hold on, slow down, baby, don't crash Yeah, I don't wanna crash again I don't wanna Yeah, yeah hey. I don't wanna crash again yeah. Hey, I don't wanna uh, Hey, yeah, uh, I don't wanna uh. crash again. So we coming out the blue, and now we seeing, uh, yeah, uh, say more truth for your head, hey, hey, they say we coming out the blue, and now we seeing red. Fantastic, you Thank guys. You. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> 
All right, my last question for you. I just mm -hmm. this is just putting it out there. I'm thinking about you know Kanye in Wyoming when he recorded his <laughs> album there. Yeah. Is there a dream location anywhere mm -hmm. in the world? Yeah. Cost no cost mm -hmm. that you could record an album at. Where would that be? A, any place in the world. Yeah. Hmm. Probably like Japan. Yeah. Yeah, recording an album in Japan would be would be amazing. Um, yeah, obviously, just I feel like that'd be the most full circle thing. Obviously, being so inspired by like you know, cartoons and anime just to, like, be there and, like, <laughs> make music there, too. Um, yeah, definitely Japan. That'd be wild. Like, yeah. Tokyo, city-wise, or country? Country um, Japan? Oh, uh, maybe both. Maybe half in, in, like, you know, in, like, Shibuya and Tokyo and the other half in, like, you know, Kyoto or something like that. Like, a very, you know, just, like, serene kind of, you know, uh, environment. Probably both. Half and half would be cool. Half and half. You know? All yeah. right. All right, that's it. You guys want to go into another song? And I'll, I'll let you guys... Uh yeah, let you guys do that. It was cool. great. It was great. Great. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. It's awesome to have you in. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Really, seriously appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's do a uh, Cerulean City. Let's do it. Coming at you live from the city where you let your knees show When it's like high 50s or it's 60 below And you working at 9 to 5, you feel like Lord of the Flies You tired of taking your time, it's that feeling you know It's reminiscent of Chicago back in 04 Like the C-O-double-M-O, -O, oh really though And really I mean it's not one for the radio And give me some years, I'ma write me a TV show Only seen but never sold, play the game but never told It's either make it out or you king of the need Rose. I pray to my words, make it past my tombstone And if you ask me why I do it, y'all did it for the soul hey. Yeah Yeah, don't wait up. So many days I stayed up for. Been recording hella hits, but what that mean if don't nobody hear him? It be messing with my spirit. Got me thinking that I really ain't the illest and I ain't blowing out the competition. I got a wifey, misses, we been making life decisions, but it's all a price to get in. Nah, brother won't now. Took a trip to SoCal and started realizing that a brother really slowed down. Supposed to be terrorizing. Shh. Guess I hit a slow drift out of my lane. And at that same time, met another dame that had changed my life. Drowning in decisions, pick up which one is right. Live how I was living or make a new life. Trying to keep my head up. Yeah. Caleb Sykes on the keys, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>